Hey there, explorers. We use our five senses to understand the world around us. We use our sense of sight to see the world in all its glory. Think about all the amazing things we can see. Bright rainbows, tall trees, and even the tiny ants crawling on the ground. Isn't that incredible? Our sense of sight helps us learn, play, and stay safe. Can you imagine playing your favorite sport without seeing the ball? Or reading a comic book without seeing the pictures? Sight is super important. Close your eyes for a moment and imagine a world without sight. It's hard to picture, right? Now open your eyes and look around. What do you see? Our eyes are precious gifts, and we need to take good care of them. But how do our eyes work? Get ready to find out. We're about to take an exciting journey into the world of sight. Have you ever used a camera? It takes pictures of the world, right? Well, your eyes are like amazing cameras that never stop snapping pictures. Just like a camera has lenses, your eyes have lenses too. Light enters through the pupil, that black circle in the middle of your eye. The pupil gets bigger in dim light to let in more light. It gets smaller in bright light to protect your eyes. How cool is that? Next, the light passes through the lens, a clear part behind the pupil. The lens focuses the light onto the retina at the back of your eye. Think of the retina as a movie screen. The lens makes sure the picture on the retina is clear and sharp. The retina is covered in special cells that sense light. These cells send signals to your brain through the optic nerve, a kind of biological cable. Your brain interprets these signals and tells you what you are seeing. Amazing, right? Your eyes and brain work together to help you understand the world around you. Think about all the amazing things you can see. Bright red strawberries, the deep blue ocean, and the vibrant green grass. But did you know that what we see is actually light bouncing off objects and into our eyes? It's true. Our eyes can detect different wavelengths of light, which is how we see different colors. Shorter wavelengths appear blue and violet, while longer wavelengths appear red and orange. And guess what? We can see millions of different colors. Our eyes are also great at detecting shapes and patterns. We can tell the difference between a circle and a square, a star and a heart. We can even recognize faces, which is super important for knowing our friends and family. Movement is another thing our eyes are great at detecting. We can see a butterfly flapping its wings, a car zooming down the street, and a basketball soaring through the air. And don't forget about distance. Our eyes work together to tell us how far away things are. This is called depth perception. It helps us walk without bumping into things, catch a ball, and even drive a car when we grow up. Isn't it amazing how much information our eyes can process? They really are incredible. Did you know that your eyes are about the size of ping pong balls? They're pretty small, but they do some pretty big things. Here are some more fun facts about your peepers. Blink, blink. You blink about 15 times every minute. That's like closing and opening your eyes over 1,500 times an hour. Blinking helps keep your eyes clean and moist. Your eyes can focus on about 50 different things every second. That's a lot of information for your brain to process. Out of all the muscles in your body, the muscles that control your eyes are the busiest. They are constantly moving, even when you are asleep. Your eyes can distinguish between about 10 million different colors. That's way more colors than crayons in a box. Even though your eyes can see clearly in the dark, it takes about 30 minutes for them to fully adjust. That's why it's hard to see when you first turn off the lights. Pretty amazing, right? Your eyes are truly incredible organs. Section 5. Growing up with our eyes, from babies to adults. When babies are born, they can see, but their vision isn't very clear. It's kind of like looking through a foggy window. But don't worry, a baby's vision improves very quickly during the first few months of life. As babies grow, their eyes develop and change. They start to see colors more vividly and track moving objects more easily. By the time they are about six months old, babies can see almost as well as adults. Even though our eyes are fully developed by the time we are adults, it's important to take care of them throughout our lives. Regular eye exams, a healthy diet, and protecting our eyes from the sun can help us maintain good vision for years to come. Remember, our eyes are precious, and we need to keep them healthy so we can continue to enjoy all the amazing things the world has to offer. Section 6. When Eyes Need Help Understanding Eye Problems Sometimes our eyes need a little extra help to see clearly. Just like we might need glasses to help us hear better, some people need glasses to help them see better. Nearsightedness and farsightedness are common vision problems. Nearsightedness makes it hard to see things far away, while farsightedness makes it hard to see things close up. 
glasses or contact lenses can help correct these problems. Astigmatism is another common vision problem. It happens when the cornea, the clear front part of the eye, is curved unevenly. This can make things look blurry or distorted. If you ever have trouble seeing clearly, be sure to tell a grown-up so you can visit an eye doctor. They can help figure out what's going on and make sure your eyes are healthy. Section 7. Seeing Colors Differently – A Look at Color Blindness Have you ever wondered if everyone sees colors the same way? Well, some people see colors differently than others. This is called color blindness. Most people with color blindness have trouble seeing red and green. Others have trouble seeing blue and yellow. Some people can't see any colors at all. This is very rare. Color blindness is usually passed down from parents and it's more common in boys than girls. There's no cure for color blindness, but most people learn to adapt. It's important to remember that people with color blindness see the world in a unique and beautiful way. Section 8. Good eyesight matters, from reading to driving. We use our eyes for almost everything we do. We need good eyesight to read, write, draw, play sports, and so much more. Can you imagine trying to ride a bike or fly a kite without being able to see clearly? As we get older, good eyesight becomes even more important. We need to be able to see clearly to drive a car, operate machinery, and even just walk down the street safely. That's why it's so important to take care of our eyes and get regular eye exams. By taking care of our eyes, we're taking care of our overall health and well-being. Section 9. Checking our eyes. Fun at the eye doctor. Visiting the eye doctor might seem a little scary, but it's really not that bad. In fact, it can even be fun. The eye doctor uses special tools and machines to check how well you can see. One of the most common eye tests is the eye chart, you know, the one with all the letters that get smaller and smaller. The eye doctor will ask you to read the letters on the chart to see how clearly you can see at different distances. They might also shine a light in your eyes to check your pupils and use a special microscope to look at the structures inside your eyes. Don't worry, it doesn't hurt a bit. The eye doctor is like a detective for your eyes, making sure everything is healthy and working properly. Section 10. Healthy Habits for Healthy Eyes. Let's take care. Just like we take care of our bodies by eating healthy foods and exercising, we need to take care of our eyes too. Here are a few things you can do to keep your peepers healthy. Eat your veggies. Carrots really are good for your eyes. So are leafy green vegetables like spinach and kale. They contain vitamins that are important for eye health. Take breaks from screen time. Staring at a screen for too long can strain your eyes. Make sure to look away from your screen every 20 minutes or so and focus on something at a distance. Wear sunglasses on sunny days. The sun's ultraviolet UV rays can damage your eyes over time. Always wear sunglasses when you're outside, even on cloudy days. Don't rub your eyes. It might feel good to rub your eyes when they're itchy, but try to resist the urge. Rubbing your eyes can irritate them and spread germs. Remember, taking care of your eyes is important for seeing clearly and enjoying the world around you. Section 11. Lending a helping hand, supporting those with vision problems. Some people have trouble seeing, even with glasses or contact lenses. These people are considered visually impaired or blind. There are many ways we can help people with vision problems. Be understanding and patient. It might take a little longer for someone with vision problems to do certain tasks. Offer to read aloud, read a book, magazine article, or even a menu to someone who has difficulty seeing print. Describe your surroundings. If you're walking with someone who is visually impaired, describe what you see around you. Advocate for accessibility. Support businesses and organizations that make their spaces and materials accessible to people with disabilities, including those with vision problems. Remember, even small acts of kindness can make a big difference in the lives of people with vision problems. By working together, we can create a more inclusive and supportive world for everyone. Like this video and subscribe to L's Sprouting Hub for even more fun educational videos. See you in the next one.